you wonderful people of the internet. It is Tuesday, and today is a pretty big day in the United States. Yeah, you napped with all your owls, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, Aerie's out there. She's playing. Did you have a good nap? Toys? No, not... Well, she's kind of playing with toys. She's in the jumper. Jumper? Yeah, jumper. Ace? Yeah, Aerie. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. yeah. Mommy's? Mommy's? Mommy's not watching you there anymore. I'm right here. Mommy's? Yeah. Mommy's? You are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you are so cute. Can I have a hug? Mommy would love a hug. <gasps> Thank you. You are so cute. Here, can you put them away? Rev, come here. Put them away, please. You want to play with that? Okay, then you need to clean up the books that are in your room that you just took out. Go clean up the books first, and then you can play with that. So most of our viewership is in the United States, so most of you guys already know that today is election day. So we not only decide the president, but some seats get taken in the Senate and the House of Representatives, um, then like local government as well. And then there are like some bills and stuff like, but the biggest thing is the presidency. And I wouldn't be lying if I said that most of Americans are not thrilled with either of the two main choices. And the only way I'm particularly going to be happy, like 100% happy with this outcome, is if neither Trump or Hillary ended up with enough electoral college votes and it went to the House and perhaps they had somewhat of a brain and chose a third party candidate. But it's probably not going to happen. So I think we keep just trying to remind ourselves as Americans that the biggest changes start in your home. And if we really want to see some big changes in this country, that it needs to start right where its people are. And that's in our homes and with our kids. And it's the only way we're really going to save the future for our children, if I'm being honest. Mom. Can you see? Mom. She's looking at me like, how do I do that? What? Did you put away your books? Where's that one go? Apple. <clears throat> Good job. Good job, Rev. Yeah. Hey, what did I just say? <laughs> no hoarding. I made a sun. I can't tilt it too much, it'll all fall off though. Mommy. Yeah, we're doing them together. Bobby. Tooting. Yeah. Did you just toot? Yeah. Stinker butt. <laughs> yes, stinker butt. <laughs> well, hello, I am home from work. Ariana ran out the door to go vote. And it's Tuesday, so we've got Chipotle. Rev's got a kid's meal. Eat the chicken quesadilla. Oh, do you want rice on the chicken quesadilla? Yeah, okay, here, ready? There. Mmm, Rev, you need to take a bite. Aerie just went down for a nap because it's nap time for her. And Rev and I, well, Rev's already eating, but I'm gonna start eating. Because who knows how long Ariana will be. Though I went this morning, there's a line to use the electronic ballots, but I was like, no, I'll use paper, thank you very much. So I used paper, there's no line. In and out pretty darn quick. Yeah. Whoa! Did, was Daisy gonna come get you? Yeah. Oh, oh, so close! Daisy, go eat. Is that yummy? Mm. Mm, those are some sub. good subs, huh? You're funny. 
Oh, <laughs> pancakes. Did you tell him you voted? Yeah, I did. I and I told him you went to vote too. I did. And it was thankfully not. I was worried it was going to be really long lines since I was going after work. So I figured a lot of people would go after work, but it wasn't. So it's recording. No. Oh, you wanna you wanna spin it? You gotta show everybody. You gotta show us. Lift it up. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Did you? Uh oh, where'd you go? You gotta show Levi. Oh. oh, look at you. You're showing him. Daddy. <gasps> Did you put the duck on Levi? Yeah. Yeah, you are cute. Walkie. Walkie. Walk, Levi. She wants you to walk. Uh oh, it fell. <laughs> Ryan is back from our leadership business meeting. Oh, yes. And we've been watching the polls like the whole night. <laughs> And I'm sure you guys already know, it was an interesting one. As of right now, Trump is in the lead. Um, and yeah, everyone is very shocked by this. It's kind of sad that it took this to finally people to realize that the media is uh, not always telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. But whatever the outcome is, just- It's not the end yeah. of the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not the end of the world and Jesse Wellens, if you guys watched BF First GF before, he said on Twitter that, you know, the one thing that will divide us as a country is us. Doesn't matter who is in that seat, we will do more damage to this country than they will. And that is 100% true. I said it this morning that our kids are the future and everything starts from in your home. So whatever the outcome was, whether you were happy with it, whether you were really mad about it, whether you were just not necessarily happy with it, but just more relieved with one candidate over the other winning, because um, I know most of us didn't like both choices. <laughs> Yesterday's question of the day was, what is your favorite game? It's probably a tie between Settlers of Catan and Dominion. I think my favorite is Splendor. It's like crazy that Catan is not our first answer anymore, but we have since found new strategy games that we love. We still love Catan, so it holds a special place in our heart. I actually wanted to play that on Sunday when mom and dad came over, but they didn't bring it. So today's question of the day is going to be, what is something that you can do in your life right now to make a positive change in your community? So let us know your answer down in the comments below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and welcome to the Flood Fam. And as always, we will see your wonderful faces tomorrow. Bye. Bye.